Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us here for the news at noon. I'm Ben Thompson. And we continue to follow that breaking news. The York County Coroner's Office releasing a study done on Philip Adams' brain. Boston University researchers found he had stage 2 CTE. Adams is a former NFL player from Rock Hill who killed a prominent doctor and five other people before turning the gun on himself. It happened back in April. CTE is a disease that can cause violent mood swings, disorientation, and memory loss. Doctors believe it's caused by frequent injuries to the head. WCNC Charlotte's Indira Skiva now live in Rock Hill. And Indira, we say stage two CTE. I mean, did you get any impression just how severe his case actually was? Doctors said he had an unusually severe case of CTE. They compared it to the case of another football player you may be familiar with, Aaron Hernandez. Hernandez was convicted of murder and died by suicide several years ago. Now, Philip Adams had stage 2 CTE, and symptoms of that include anxiety, paranoia, memory loss, and aggression. At the time of his death, the coroner said he also tested positive for two drugs, amphetamine, which he had a prescription for and Kratom, which is an over-the-counter stimulant. Dr. Ann McKee with Boston University said Adams suffered from CTE for years and tried to get help from the NFL. CTE is a disease that gets worse with age. Doctors believe it's caused by frequent blows to the head and it is seen in football players. So yes, I can say definitively that his 20 years of football uh, gave rise to CTE. The big question remains, what was the motive for this shooting, for this case? Sheriff Kevin Tolson says his detectives are still trying to find the answers to that, but he also said that may be a puzzle they will never be able to solve. In Rock Hill, Indira Esquiva, WCNC Charlotte. The answers don't necessarily provide closure. Uh, still a, a sad story all around for everybody involved. Indira, thank you. By the way, the victims' families and the Adams family shared statements today. You can find those right now on WCNC.com.